What is up, y'all? Welcome to this video. Um, it's been a while. It's been a very long time. Uh, this video, I just kind of wanted to come on here and kind of let you guys know that I finally ran the half marathon. It was one of those things like, I had just been thinking about it. I had just gotten back from Colorado. Um, I hadn't trained at all. Just with all the travel, I just, I was kind of out of weight, but I was just like, or out of shape. Um, but it was one of those things that I was just like, you know, I got to do this. I just got to do this. And I just signed up for one and I went ahead and did it. Um, I did this with no training at all. Of course, you know, I run here and there. So it's not like I just kind of jumped out there with no running experience. Um, but I'm very proud of the outcome. And I think this race, it has kind of unlocked um, kind of my true potential for me. I, I realized that kind of like whatever I put my, my mind to, like I can actually do. And I know we hear that all the time, but it's so true. It is so true. So um, the overall time, I know you guys are probably like, dude, so what'd you run? Uh, my overall all time um, was an hour and 39 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, so that putting my uh, average pace at a seven, 37 seven minutes and 37 seconds um, For someone who didn't train and for someone who weighs 210 pounds um, I think that's extremely impressive and I'm very very proud of myself So with that being said I am now Itching to run another one I'm itching to run another one so um I already found one. There's one December 3rd. It's over here in the Tampa area. Um, or actually, I think it's in Sarasota. I gotta double check on that. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sign up for it. Uh, then I have another one that I'm eyeing in February of next year. Um, I've got some buddies of mine that are gonna run one up in Tallahassee. So I might join that one as well. But I'm not stopping there. I am going to start training for an actual marathon. I've got the training program that I'm going to follow already. Um, and I, I think that I'm going to start this. I, I want to do it as early as next week, but I know that's a little too soon. My legs are so, so, so sore. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, I might go ahead and knock out these next couple half marathons and then really jump into the training for that marathon itself. Um, for me to be able to qualify for the big time races, I need to run, I think it's two hours and 50 minutes, which is extremely, extremely good. Um, I don't think it's too far out of reach for myself, given if I do train for this and prioritize it, I'll be just fine. A little recap of the half marathon itself. I got back from Colorado. So I'm just going to start back from last weekend. Got back from Colorado and of course just, you know, when I'm away, I enjoy myself. I, I was with, you know, with my best friend and his family. We went to a couple sporting events, had a couple drinks, ate some really good food, absolutely enjoyed myself. So I got back and I'm like, man, you know, I actually want to do this. I really didn't give myself a choice. It was more of like, you know, we're going to knock this out. So I started running a little bit, just kind of getting in the groove of it. And then I think it was Wednesday. I just jumped out and I ran seven miles. Easy, very easy. So going into that, that really boosted my confidence, boosted my confidence a big time. Um, I see somebody running towards me. I guess it is a public trail, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it boosted my confidence big time. So then when I got out there, um, you know, I was still very, very nervous, but I knew all I had to do was get to eight miles. And I was like, if I can get to eight miles holding a decent pace around, you know, 720 to 730, I'm good. Um, so we hit that eight miles. Um, legs were very, very heavy. Uh, I'm not going to say that it was easy but legs were very heavy but we hit the eight miles and then from nine to ten 
in my mind it was more like okay let's just you know pull it back a little bit but let's just get to 10. 9 to 10 was pretty tough pretty tough so we got it i think at that point i was running maybe 735 um and then 10 to 13 at mile 10 i got the worst cramp in my abdomen um and you know i was running just trying to like hold it and there was a few times there i had to like stop and like walk for two seconds but then i'd pick it back up and um then like 11 to 13 was just an absolute dog fight absolute dog fight my legs were absolutely giving out on me i was very fatigued uh could barely pick my legs up but um i was able to see the finish line and at that point once i was like 0.5 miles out i just sprinted i went as fast as i could so we got it done afterwards i have never felt my legs uh, in that much pain so i know that i do have a lot of work to do to get to where i want um, to run you know these marathons but i think this was a great start and i think this really proved to myself that i can do this like i don't consider myself a runner i do consider myself very much so athletic and you know I, I i i'm in shape i keep up with myself but um that just kind of unlocked a whole new side of things and i'm really excited for this so gonna go ahead and wrap this up i just wanted to give you guys an update because i am going to document as much as i can with this journey um i'm still figuring out a few pieces here and there of how i'm going to um, do this when i plan to run this marathon when i'm going to start this you know marathon training but as far as these half marathons i think i'm going to get a few more under my belt before i jump into the marathon training so uh, keep a lookout for this uh, i'm going to have fun with it um, i hope you guys have fun watching it and i appreciate all the support let's do this I feel like I could stretch that. Can't be cute. Woo, yeah, hold it up. Woo! Woo! Yeah, perfect.